You guys are wondering what we're doing in the freezer? You get it. We're talking about ice again. Let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you very much for joining us again for this new video. So today we're gonna talk about ice again. I don't know if you saw the previous video that I made about it, but many of you watched it and also many of you wanted to buy the mold that I used in it, the mold to make the perfectly clear ice cubes at home. Well, unfortunately, this item went sold out pretty fast and is still today not available. And I promised to you who asked me what to do instead or what to buy instead, that I would make a part two of this video when I would find the perfect replacement. This never happened. Everything that I found online was either making smaller amount of cubes or smaller cubes, nothing that to my opinion was worth to buy. So I decided today I would make a tutorial on how to make clear ice at home and how to cut it according to your needs. I think it's even more satisfying and it will also allow me to show you and review my brand new toy, a brand new ice press that I got with several shapes. It looks amazing and we're gonna test it together today. But in order to test the ice press, we have to make a batch of ice. So to do it, you will need a camping cooler, some water, obviously, a freezer, a knife, and a hammer. Before we get into this, be careful guys, don't get too excited when it comes to buy the cooler. Uh, I personally went a little overboard. I wanted to make large amount of ice and I bought this. When I unboxed this thing, Sephra looked at me and asked me, have you made a mistake? <laughs> and my answer was, maybe <laughs> i don't know if you can see that way but this is our freezer and this thing is literally bigger than the freezer i made a mistake uh, it just doesn't fit in it so i had to go back online and buy something else and i bought this one So this is the size that you're looking for. I mean, it fits in pretty much all freezers, the lid is removable, and it works perfectly. So just to make sure that you do not make the same mistake that I made, I'm gonna link it in the description down below. If you saw the other video that I made about ice, you probably remember the term directional freezing. And that's one of the most important thing to remember when it comes to clear ice. That means that you want the cold coming only from one side. So that's the reason why we're using a camping cooler because it's insulated on all sides. And once you take the lid off, the cold will arrive only from top. It will freeze the water from top to bottom, pushing the air bubbles and sediment at the base of the tank. What I like to do is to let it freeze all the way through, so that way I will get some scrap ice to shake and stir, and it will also allow me to make sure that my clear ice is as thick as it can be. For this size of a tank, it usually takes about 50 hours to freeze, and once you're done with the freezing process, it's very important to take it out about 30 minutes before you want to unmold it. It will start to temper, will make the unmolding process way easier, and the tempering ice is very important when it comes to cut it. So I took this one out about 30 minutes ago, so we are ready to flip it over and see how it looks like. All right, so you see we have the beautiful clear ice and we also have the scrap ice here. So now how do we cut this? Well, there's a few things to remember that are really important. As I said, your block of ice needs to be tempered. So what does that mean? That means that the ice will be a little softer and it's gonna make straighter cuts instead of chunks when you wanna cut the block of ice. So how to make sure that you reach that point? Well, there's no more frost on the block of ice and it starts to be wet a little bit everywhere. Usually that means that the timing is perfect. And second, you always make the cut in the middle of the block that you already have. That's the best way to get as much as possible straight cuts and regular shapes. And now with a serrated knife, you will make a cut of about one or two millimeters deep in the middle of the block. And now you're gonna give several little tap on the knife in order to make the cut, just like this. <laughs> 
And now we're gonna remove the scrap ice and repeat the process, always cutting from the middle of the block until we get the size that we want. I'm gonna get some bigger cubes and some smaller ones and you will see why in a second. And this is the result that you should get. Now, as you can see, the cubes are not perfect. And if that's what you want, you will take a sharp knife and being very careful, you will shave all the sides of the cube in order to get perfectly straight edges. At the end, it should look just like this. It is pretty awesome, I admit, but for today's video, this is not the look I'm going for. All I needed is some smaller cubes for something I'm gonna show you later, and one big ice cube to show you how to make a sphere with an ice pick. So get your raincoat on, guys. This will get a little messy. Here's how we do it. The first step is to remove all the corners from the cubes. Then, once you're done with the corners, you can go with the edges, and then eventually the flat surfaces. The goal is to get something that will look like a sphere, but obviously at first it will not be perfect. There will be bumps everywhere and it's fine. Using your pick, you will remove them one after the other. It will take a little bit of time, but eventually you will get something looking like this. I think the beauty of this technique is all the facets that you will get on the ice It reflect the light and it looks awesome but if what you want is something that is perfect and by that i mean perfect perfect that's when my new toy comes into play i just got a brand new ice press with different shapes there's the big sphere there's a star and there's even a diamond i always wanted the diamond i love it i'm sure you will love it too so let's go take it out and try it together right now So let me introduce you guys to the Atmos Ice Press. This thing is next level. I tried it a few times since I got it and I can already tell you that this is the best ice press I've ever crossed paths with. They're not paying me to say that, this is not a sponsored video. It's only that I wanted to make a part two on the clear ice video when I would find something worth talking about. Well, this my friend is worth talking about. The product is amazing, the build quality is perfect and there's one really cool feature that separates this press from the other ones in the market. What is it? Well, if you saw the previous video that I made about ice, you probably know already that I own an ice press, but it only makes one small sphere. What's really, really cool about this one is you buy the press first and then for a smaller amount of money, you can get different molds or different inserts that makes different shapes. They have the large sphere like this. They have one that comes with four small spheres. There's a star, there's a heart shape, there's a snowman. But my favorite one is the one that I already put in the press and it's the diamond shape. I always wanted a diamond ice press. Now I have one and I'm super excited. Another thing that I love about this one here is they put a tray that will gather the water while the ice is melting, which is very convenient because otherwise it will make a huge mess. Then also, I told you the build quality is very well taught. They put a dot on the press and one on the insert, so you are always sure that you put the insert on the right side. The packaging is also very cool. All of this product is perfect. Plus, it is very simple to use. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go get my ice out of the freezer. I'm going to put one block here, let it work its magic and see how it goes. Look at that diamond. I mean, come on, guys. I dare you telling me this is not cool. I hope you like it because there will be a lot of that on the channel and probably a lot on Instagram as well. So before I go guys, there's one more thing I wanted to tell you. Many of you asked me where to get the customized bar spoon slash ice stem that I used on the previous ice video. And I gave you, uh, to those of you who were serious, who seemed serious, the contact of who makes it but it is a pretty expensive bar tools so the guys at atmos also make customized ice stamp 
and I got one for truffles on the rocks and look how well it works. It is amazing. So if you guys want to ice press, if you want to ice stem, the guys at Atmos are the one that you want to contact. So that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Ciao.